Hey. Hello. All right. Here I am. This is live at five. My name is Sarah Bibb. Welcome to Folly. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Chase. So exciting. Um, okay, live at five. I don't know how to say it any other way. Live at five. <laughs> I am Sarah Bibb. Welcome to Folly. Let's talk about my favorite summer blouse, the Carol. Um, before I launch, I guess, into my Carol thing, I can talk about the, the line, Cameo. This is my friend Elisa's line, and we go way back. I know her from Los Angeles, and when I first opened the store in two, May of 2008, so over 12 years ago, I opened and all I had was my line, Cameo, and Level 99. And I, like, so my in my mind, you know, original Folly, Cameo is totally part of Folly in that way. She's always been represented every season I order from Elisa and I love carrying her clothing. Um, it's, I would say her signature thing is like, um, like really core pieces, uh, well-priced, always with a little special detail uh, and it just makes them timeless and they, they fit perfectly with stuff that I make and other lines that I carry. And uh, so I'm really always proud to have her represented in my store and she's been a very good friend of mine and has helped me all along the way learn about the business and we go shopping together when I'm in Los Angeles and stuff so that's a little bit about her so you can feel good about you know shopping with me and supporting Elisa at the same time okay so the Carol why do I love this blouse so much I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you all about it one it's cotton two it's washable three the cut is so nice and easy and comfortable it works great with skirts, which is like a big deal to me. Um, but if you wear jeans, it's a perfect little top for jeans too. And she always does some really pretty colors. And I just love the fabric so much. I just love this fit. I think her blouses are top notch. So I'll show you one. Well, I'm wearing one. So I like to style it many different ways. This is one thing that I do um, that I thought I would show you. So that's me with the collar up and I cross it and tie a little thing. That's, that's pretty fun. I also like to wear it, um, you know, just buttoned up all the way like that. It works really well. Just like a, like that. I also think this is a really cute top. Hi Jen. Um, unbuttoned all the way and open. It's since it's such a kind of a loose fitting, you know, intended loose, open is really nice um maybe it's probably been a couple months ago i did my owen blouse which was kind of like a little pajama top and i said i liked that open too for similar reasons this works well because it's not super long and i have all the measurements by the way that i will be going over but um it's not super long and so i think that works really nicely even over a dress or um, like if you have a tank top on and you don't want to wear a cardigan but you just want something over it I think it's I think this blouse has a lot of versatility in that way so I have four colors I'll just start over on this end all right this is called army oh and I of course paired some masks I thought wilding would be really nice with it and also I think this one is called I think this one's called violet but I'm not sure this is online it's such a pretty one um, so there are two different it's the same fabric, but this one doesn't have the dot detail that the others, that two of them do. It has a slight kind of hatch detail. And you can see how light this fabric is. It is, it's not see-through, but it is a little bit of light pass-through. And like, um, you know, you'd probably wear a nude bra with this and it would be seamless. Uh, you know, no one would really notice, but you could also layer it over um, a camisole or something. But this is a good color for you to see all the detail. So I love 
This gathering here, kind of forward on the shoulder, what that does is it creates a nice amount of bust room, and that is really helpful. And there's no fixed shoulder seam here, so that gives also a lot of versatility for like what size will work. And it's, it's, a, it's more than a cap sleeve, or like I find cap sleeves are sometimes tight and short like that, and that just makes me feel like sausage arm, I hate that. But this sleeve doesn't bother me at all because it's pretty loose on my arm. So it's something airy about that and it's, I think that's really flattering on the arm and just also really comfortable. Okay, and it's not super long, so it is straight across the bottom. This is an extra small. Uh, one thing that's nice is when it is buttoned up all the way, I mean, I probably have a pencil neck, but it's not tight up there, which I think is nice. So you can do this cute look without being like. Um, so should I tell you, maybe I'll tell you the measurements now. So I measured flat on the floor, pit to pit, which basically ends up being directly across your bust, like almost like the middle of your boob. I measured the arm opening and I measured the length and I did it from this point. So basically from about your, what's that called? That little dent in your collarbone to the bottom, okay? So the small is pit to pit, 20 inches. So that means if you went all the way around, you would double that. Um, oh, extra, so extra small, 20 inches, 18 long, and then the arm opening is seven. And it kind of goes up in about a half inch increment, um, which means that like if it's, then the small is, um, well, the small is actually the same pit to pit, which is, uh, also, I could. This is not a perfect science measuring things flat on the floor. <laughs> so, um, uh, like the large. Okay, let's go to the large. Of course, the bottom is really. The large is 22 inches across, pit to pit. So that's 44 inches around. Now, if you were 44 inches around, that would be too small because this definitely you want a little bit of room. Um, it's not stretchy. Okay, let me just see who this is. That's so distracting. Okay, I'm tuning it up. Um, uh, the large neck, so here to the bottom, is 19 and a half inches. So it's not super long. On most people, that hits kind of right at the top of your pants. And I think that's a pretty cute length to wear out. That's one real advantage for this blouse. I tuck everything in because I'm a tucker inner. I should have just answered it because that's so distracting. Okay, anyway, I like to tuck in. Most of you don't. I would say about 70% of people do not like a tuck in. And I think that's totally fair, you know? But most button downs are so long that I think sometimes, especially if you're wearing a skirt, it's not ideal to have something longer out. Like if, with jeans, it's not a big deal, right? But if you're wearing a skirt, and then you have something out and it's kind of here at like your widest point. I don't know, it just like, you lose all the shape and that's kind of a bummer. So what's nice about this top not being super long is if you have a skirt on, you can still wear it out and you're really only covering like that very top waistband. And so I think that's actually still gives the silhouette, even though it's, it's like a little bit of a boxy top, but you don't get lost in it. So I think that's really a nice advantage to this not being super long. Now, if you are wearing, I mean, nobody's wearing low cut pants anymore, are they? <laughs> I see Britney Spears is back on the scene and trying to bring them back and like, please, please do not ever go there. <laughs> but if you're wearing low pants and a crop top, I mean, you are going to show your belly. So I mean, that's up to you. I'm not going to shame you for it, but I, I'm not doing it. But if you're wearing a higher waist pant or even like a mid-rise, this top out is pretty friendly. Um, so, what was I saying? Okay, <laughs> I got so thrown by that. I'm sweating now. It's a fragile process. <laughs> I hope you guys are laughing. <laughs> okay, so this is called Army hatch. 
I have extra small, small, medium, large. And this top, the Carol, is $79. It's made very small batch in Los Angeles. You can feel totally good about this. 100% cotton. It's like a tissue weight cotton. Um, Jen, I got so lost. <laughs> okay, so the white is also a hatch. And of course, because it's white, it is much more transparent. This is the rub. Every summer people want like white clothes, but they're just always see-through. <laughs> so um, there's not much you can do to get that feeling, that kind of light flowy thing. I think the best case scenario with white is have it be a little looser so that it's um, you know less about what's going on underneath or just wear a hot pink bra. I mean, that's cute. Make it a look. So I paired this cute coral mask with white because that's classic so again it's nice you can really see the detail on the light ones so that's the white hatch and then the other two colors I have uh, like what I'm having what I have on have this little dot pattern and this is cute just another little element same material though it's the same weight but you can see like in black you're not so like caught up in the transparency of it um, it's just the advantage of black so same this boom 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 i love the black i paired it with black spring because that goes with everything how cute and this is a new color this year this is called papaya so on the uh, on the website her pictures which are the pictures on the model i think it looks a little light in the picture and then my picture that i took on the wall i think it reads a little dark so the actual color is kind of right in between. The best way that I would describe this beautiful color is, I would say it's like an earthy pink. It's like almost terracotta. It's like, it's very nice. It feels right in my zone this year of like the desert, kind of dusty desert colors. It's very pretty. I think this is, so far I haven't seen this look bad on anybody color-wise. Like I think this would be a great color on me. If you have any kind of strawberry hint to you, beautiful. I, I really, I can't, I don't think that there's a skin tone that this wouldn't be an attractive color for. It's just, uh, it's warm and it's soft. It's not like too anything. It's not too pink, it's not too brown. It's not, it's just perfect. It's so lovely. So with the dot, that's great. And I have, I mean, check out this. Can you see how good those are together? So this skirt um, is the Moreau and this print is called Pledge. I think there's two left and they're in the sale section now. But this is the best color combo. Oh my gosh, so pretty. It makes the top read a little pinker because the skirt has the pink in it, but that's perfect. That's just so perfect. I feel like if I had this top and made this skirt at the same time, there wouldn't be any of these skirts left. It's like for most of the time that I had these skirts, I didn't have like the perfect top, which is super frustrating and bad planning on my part. But that is just glorious. And we have a few left in the Moreau and the Savannah. And also, hi. Ah, so good. I mean, obviously you could do black or white too, but I think also that is very nice because this print has, it's not quite green, but it has this little bit of, it's like a taupey brown in it. And I think that really talks to this army. That is very nice. So some really good options to go, like things, this is one thing that every year when I plan like what I'm gonna make skirts out of, I say to myself, I even wrote it down today because I was talking, talking to myself about fall. I'm like, please make a top that matches, you know? Because it's so hard. That's always the stop with skirts is like, what do I wear that with? And usually I have something, but sometimes I, I just get too excited to make the skirt and kind of forget to make the top. So, Savannah, which is one of my favorite prints this season, I think is great with both of those, like really good. Um, and then things like, I really like this color with that. These are the Quinn shorts by Level 99. They're really soft and stretchy, but 
It's funny, I really like color and I usually go for a very saturated color, but this year I really was feeling this like, something about this soft, dusty colors. It really is making me happy. That feels so nice. Pretty, pretty. And any of them would go with like a black and white, you know? I mean, I'm black or white, obviously. Uh, so this is a great skirt that we have. I can't believe we have a ton left, which is, makes me crazy because I wear the skirt all the time. This is the, um, the Sid skirt in Icon Stripes. This is classic. I think a lot of people are scared of these stripes. Don't be, it's just really fun. Uh, what size are those shirts hanging up for reference? Okay, these are I think all extra small and it looks bigger than it is. <laughs> so, uh, because it's kind of has that boxy shape. So for reference, I am wearing an extra small. I'm five feet tall. I am pretty much always an extra small on top and I'll untuck this so you can kind of see. It's a little hard because I have a skirt on, but um, so this goes to like basically like my leg joint. On most people, it is shorter. This is, I'm just so short. So on most people, this is about here and that's just below like where their pants typically are about hip bone or higher. The small fits me exactly the same way. It's just like a tad longer. So this boxiness that you see when it's hanging here, you don't really get when it's on. So this is the same size as this. See what I'm saying? Like the fabric is so nice and light. This is why hangers, you know, I don't make clothes for hangers and neither does Elisa. You gotta put a body in these. And I think my advice on um, uh, ordering this particular top would be to go with your true size unless, watch this move, unless, <laughs> that's, my, that's my tuck in move, um, unless you're very tall. And if you are, and by very tall, I mean like, if say you're always a small, but you're like 5'7", or 5'8", you might want the medium just to give yourself a little extra length. So again, I have, I have the measurements for all of it. I haven't added it onto the website, but I, I, can, I can say them all, or you can ask me what size you're curious about. I can't remember how tall you are, Rachel. Um, because the body of it is so nice and easy, and I personally think this top is very comfortable because it's not tight, right? So, um, so I hope that helps. All right, so the other new top from Cameo that I love is the Tula blouse. And I have it in two colors. So it's shown like this on the website. It's kind of almost like a Henley style, but it has this really nice detail at the collar. It's kind of, it's gathered in the back. So it creates this kind of scrunchy uh, little volume at the collar, which I think is really cute. Again, like just really simple little details. Two buttons. This one, so that's again the papaya, and this is white. So I rolled this up, which, so that sleeve is just below the elbow. It's like, it's three quarter, but it's on the shorter side of three quarter. And uh, this also looks really cute, rolled up. I double cuffed that, and then put that will put it right above your elbow, and I think that's really, really cute. So this one runs smaller, especially through the bust. So, um, I would consider uh, your bust size. I didn't measure this. I didn't have, I ran out of time before starting today. It's like, just, it seems like most people can bump one up in this one pretty easily. It does have a shoulder seam, but um, so I can measure them for you if you're interested in this. I love this. To me, this is the most classic, uh, like wear this with pants, like a the little, I mean, hi, summer. That's so classic, like kind of put together summer, you know, a couple of accessories or a mask. And it's so light. I love a sheer white blouse. I think it's really sexy and 
and I think play with your bra like have fun I have one bra that has like a cute pattern and I wear that under I have a blouse that's it's not solid white but it's very sheer like this and I think it's cute to have something so I'm always like throw a pink bra on it <laughs> you know I mean who cares <laughs> so again a little bit smaller here this one is 84 same beautiful light tissue weight cotton I just love these we haven't really gotten very warm yet in Portland. <laughs> I was just like, come on. Today was a little like, like stuffy feeling. So I was glad to be wearing this. And any of any of these are perfect with jeans. Because they'll just hit. Like if I had jeans on, you know, it, the top would just come kind of just below that waistband. And that's nice. You know, if you're doing a lot of overarm stretching, I think you know, your top is going to come up, but most, most of us aren't doing that all the time. Um, oh, and I, this is that new Johnny was scarf. I was putting this on something else and realized it has this, that papaya kind of terracotta color. Look at that. That is so pretty. Just that hint of Look at that. Oh my gosh. Gorge. I love it. I mean, I'm not into like super matchy matchy, but unusual colors like this, when they talk to another one, I get very excited because, you know, it's not something I was expecting. That's so pretty. This scarf is called Meta, and I can't believe we have any left. I guess because it's summer, <laughs> but it's got that black background and it's so pretty. So again, if you're interested in that papaya, I would check out Pledge Moreau. Moreau is my favorite skirt. I'm wearing one. Mine is a little shorter than this, but it is just a pretty straight skirt, but with good booty room and kind of a deep ruffle and it is lined. So I've got a slip on as well, but you don't have to. This one, these are both uh, this one's the longest, the Savannah. The pledge is like, I guess mid calf. So pretty. And this color has this kind of like gray green. I wonder if it would. Oh yeah, you could do that with that. I like it better with this one though. To pull out the pinks, that's so cute. So those are like, that's the new cameo, the cameo blouses, which I will just go ahead and warn you, they will sell out. I have already sold a ton of these blouses because <laughs> I had, uh, you know, this the order was delayed because um, the dye house in LA was closed, so sh her production was delayed. And I think last year by July, I was probably completely sold out of these. I had multiple people last year get all four colors that we had, and they've come back and picked up a new color this year because it is the perfect blouse. If you like the Trista pant, if you like a Moreau skirt, boom, no brainer. And if you wear jeans all the time, it's great. Or if you have a lot of kind of tank dresses that you need something, but you don't wanna wear a cardigan in the summer, I think this would be great. Like I said, unbuttoned over um, a little sleeveless dress for work. That would be, I think, really cute. You could always tie it or not. Um, love love with the Trista because I'll do this but I also do like um, now if you're really tall you won't have enough room you know to do this tie thing but I think this is a cute thing to do if you don't like tucking in I just like I have a I have a waist so I like to bring things in there if you don't have a waist or feel more sensitive in that area that is so legit and you can just leave it out and lose. I think that's so cute. Very easy. So into it. Uh, this is the other thing in the cameo box. This dress is called the Karma Dress. And this is a classic example of why I love cameo. It has cute blue stitching here. Kind of almost like a western detail in here. And these are pockets. So cute. And it's on the back too. And this dress has a tie in the front. Well, it has ties on the side, so you can tie it like that front and back. See that cute detail? But you could also tie it, I think, loosely on the side. Let's see what that looks like. If you wanted to 
a little less fitted. Um, in the summertime, I think a lot of, I don't know, a lot of times you just want things loose because it's hot, so that's also cute. Either way. So the Karma dress is new, and she's 138. She's online also. I don't think I have tons of detail on any of these because I just sort of tried to get them up as quickly as possible. And then I did want to mention a couple of other tops that are great summer tops, like this one. This is the Karn blouse. And I only have extra small and small left. I'm surprised that there's any left, honestly. So cute. It does come with this tie thing, which you can, I showed this on my story earlier, you can just tuck those flaps in <laughs> if you don't like that tie thing. And it works really well. If you tuck it in, um, it just kind of holds it in place, which is actually pretty handy. And I have one left in this gorgeous Johnny Was tunic. This is the Aria tunic, and I have a medium left. This thing is stunning. Has embroidery at the top, uh, you know, sleeve and the bottom, and this metallic thread. Who's a sucker for a metallic thread? Love it. And this is one of the prettiest prints I've ever seen. I love all these purples. So Johnny Was runs, I would say, slightly big, um, because they're intended to be loose and flowy. This is a medium. I think a small could wear it because it's just loose and flowy. There's no shoulder seam, which really opens that up for wearing things bigger. And I also think if you were like kind of a, if you were a large, like say you were like a tall medium who would sometimes go into a large, this would also work really well for you. It's a very easy fit and it is stunning. This is 238, that's the last one and the new Calliope, which I did post pictures of me wearing this week. I love Calliope. I'm so excited. This is a new style this summer, and I just think she's so perfect for summer. Um, great pockets. I love this little shoulder detail. It's very nice on. It gives you kind of, I mean, it's not as long as this, but same kind of thing, a really nice angle on the arm. And you can untie this. <clears throat> I don't think I did any pictures with it like this, but you can untie it and kind of like unruch it and end up with a short sleeve, which for a lot of people for work, that is a much more manageable length. Um, it kind of depends on your job situation or like what you're doing. You know, if you need a little more arm coverage, it's there, it's flexible. <clears throat> I like Calliope. So one thing I wanna say is, um, about production. I'm trying to keep it really lean this year, especially as we're like, I hate even to say this, but as we're rounding up into like a season change coming soon, that is crazy to think about because it's really, it hasn't even started being summer yet. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm making very small batches of things and then seeing if there's need for more. So what I would love to remind everyone is if you see something online, and it's mine, it has my name, Sarah Bibb, that means we make it here. And so if you see something um, and your size is sold out, just, just message me, email me, call me, and hi, Allison, <laughs> cute. Um, just message me because if we have more of the fabric, we can make your size. And it's really, I want to do that. Um, that's not the way I've run production in the past, but right now that makes the most sense for me um, because my, and really all I want is to make clothes that you love. <laughs> that's like my favorite thing in the whole world. I like to make things that you love to wear, that you feel great in, and it makes me so happy. I've met so many amazing people doing that, and I feel really, really lucky that I can continue to do it. So this is the way that <clears throat> I'm pivoting <laughs> it's not really it's just a slight adjustment in production because we're seeing fewer people in the door so please don't hesitate to reach out um, especially on my line like if we don't make it I can't do that but if we make it and I have more fabric we'll just make yours and it takes it's fast because we are we're like 
that's basically how we do. <laughs> that's like how we do everything. We're like, I, I was telling someone the other day, I was like, I get an idea, make a decision, and we do it. Like all almost in one move. That's like, I really like, I, the, I'm a doer, right? So I hate like having something and then having to wait to do it. I'm much more like, let's get it done, let's get it done. So we're happy to throw something into production for you. That's totally me. <laughs> That's like in a nutshell. Oh, and I do have Nina's. I, um, I posted in the story, I need to post a picture of me on the feed and the Nina, I love the Nina. Nina, okay, the body of the Nina, I think I talked about it last time. Body of the Nina is very similar to Tez, which is loose, but has shape. But the Nina is more structured. She's got this great sleeve and on it's a it's a surpriser i've had some people that really like tailored clothes and i sort of like gently nudge them to try this on and then they're like oh um and it it can be very like super cash loose and easy and then throw a belt on with it and it really transforms much like the tez and those little those little belts are you know they just can change an outfit right away oh and i wanted to tease you guys with this I'm gonna wash this fabric tonight. This is a rayon chalet, which is you know my favorite summer fabric. It's nice and light. And I'm trying to decide, I'm thinking Trista pants, which are our super wide leg cropped palazzo pant, or Miranda pants, which is a new style. That's a little harder to do because not as many people know what that fit is like, so it's a little harder to sell online maybe Trista's because Trista's look like a skirt on but they're those pants so if you have any feedback on that and you have about 24 hours <laughs> to tell me what you think you know I'll take some votes because I'm not sure they're both great pants but um, I mean well it's black and gray so any of these what else that's kind of all I have pulled to talk about but I am open for questions um, I'm wearing these little Lynn earrings, L-I-N, from Stowaway, which I love, and I would love to encourage everyone, if, when you're ordering online, please visit the accessories page, and um, don't hesitate to, you know, tack a little, little what's what onto. <laughs> yes, don't you think, Elizabeth, this would be great in the Trista? It's that really light. It's um, even a little bit lighter than our flower Tristas, which are our favorite Tristas. It's so fun for me to know what you have <laughs> in your closet. Uh, like, I don't know. It's such a great experience. Like, I feel like, well, every, I always feel this way, but being in this strange kind of doing business this way where I don't really like see people as much, um, I gotta tell you, like every interaction just carries extra emotional weight and, and mostly I'm blown away at how positive uh, my interactions with my Folly Girls is. And I'm so overjoyed all the time. <laughs> and I love knowing what you love. That makes me happy. I know, the Trista pants are great. Allison, that's the pant that you got today in the Bercelli. And it's just, it's so good. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? I do. Look at that. Ew. Gross. <laughs> I'm an old lady. I have lipstick on my teeth. Um, did I say enough about the Carol? Oh, I could do the measurements again. So I measured pit. I measured it flat. So pit to pit, which is directly across your bust. The length I did from the neck, which is not quite all the way at your neck, you know, kind of collarbone to the bottom and the arm, the sleeve opening. So uh, extra small is 20 inches flat pit to pit, so that's nice and roomy. Uh, 18 inches from the neck to the bottom, and the sleeve is about seven inches, so really it's, that's 14 inches, right? Um, which is a nice, that's a pretty good, I hate things tight on my arm. I think that's two thirds of the reason why I love this blouse. <laughs> And the small is about 20 inches also pit to pit, 18 and a half from neck to bottom and 7.25 here, so about 15 inches around. 
The medium is 20 inches, 20, sorry, 21 pit to pit, so that's 42 inches all the way around. Again, you wouldn't want this tight, so I don't think anybody should size down. I would go with your true size. Um, 19 inches from here to here, and seven and a half around. Um, and then the large is 22, 19 and a half, and eight inches. So that's pretty good. Now you do have to, of course, if you have a larger bust, you do have to also, you know, keep in mind that there are buttons. And so, you know, this kind of thing, right? As always, I, I still want to do a cartoon. That's like, it's like a, it's like a boxing ring and you have like buttons in one corner and boobs in the other. And they like, they duke it out for world domination. <laughs> But instead of getting like a belt when they when they would get like a blouse <laughs> because it's just a never-ending thing like like think about it just physics right like like I don't maybe it's not physics but it's just like your body changes sizes when you move women are so dynamic everything you do you're you're like morphing and shifting it's so fab it's fantastic but you know you have to keep it in mind when you're doing buttons like is it gonna gap like is that gonna be a problem for how you want to wear it um, and I can, I'm happy to measure anything else or you can come by and try one on. I am encouraging people to make appointments for shopping because it's really awesome to see people. Uh, it's nice to know when you're coming. You can do it online, follypdx.com. There's a link, takes you to like a booking site. If you want to come outside of the designated window, that's totally fine. Just call me. I'm being very flexible about it and I because I'm super happy when people want to come. I love talking about clothes, I love making clothes and I love selling clothes. So, you know, and I love you. <laughs> so it's it's a win all around. Um, what else can I tell you? So yeah, I'm pretty much here 7 days a week. I am trying to get myself to a place where I figure out a day to actually take off, but I don't feel super, I don't feel a lot of urgency on that because I'm Kind of I'm not I'm not here 10 to 7 um, I'm not keeping like a super hardcore regular schedule most days I'm here um, like I come in at 10 30 or 11 and do all the shipping so usually I'm here to receive your visit sometime around like from 12 to 5 or 6 so I don't that's like for me feels like banker hours so um, but please call ahead uh, email me DM me anything you want like I'm here for you and I think you should think of Folly or making an appointment for Folly like this. Like, this is your time. It's your me time, right? Like you schedule an appointment for a massage or a facial, things that are harder to do right now. This is, can not replace, but this can give you that same experience. This is time just for you. You get me all to yourself. I will style you, make you laugh. Um, tell you how beautiful you are, all the fun things about shopping. And I'm so happy to do it. And yeah, it's kind of low key. So far the, I mean, I don't want to jinx myself here. Hold on, knock on wood. <laughs> so far the appointments have been wonderful. Um, I think a lot of people haven't been shopping or maybe have just done kind of like unsatisfying online shopping. So it's nice to come in and try things on talk about clothes and look at them it's a nice break from everything else in your life uh, so there's that I'm here for you I love you I love dressing you so Elizabeth saying that it was the best hour of her last week yeah I mean it's true thank you I mean <laughs> it means a lot um, I'm basically an online store right now, so don't hesitate to buy online. Also, you can do in-store pickup if you're in town. You can also message me if you have questions about things. I'm, we don't, I don't get a lot of returns because I really try to encourage communication up front, and that's best for especially right now. So, I'm here. I'm very accessible and happy to I can make you videos or whatever I don't want to sound desperate but I mean I am available <laughs> hope I'm striking a balance there <laughs> and don't forget we have masks of course um, uh, we have 
there's a whole section on the website called masks. All right, I think this is my shortest live event thus far. I'm trying to think, I don't know. Are you guys hankering for like a, a blowout sale like I did in the beginning or are you not ready for that yet? Do you still like um, new stuff? You can DM me if you have any thing that you really wish we would talk about in the, the live, live at five. I really like doing this. And I like that you like it. So there you go. Okay, we have scrunchies. I'm wearing a scrunchie. I have a whole stack of scrunchies over there. And I hate goodbyes. I'm this my this is the hardest part for me. <laughs> it's true. The hardest part of seeing you is that I can't hug you. And the hardest part about the live thing is just hanging up. I'm like one of those people, remember when you're teenagers and you're like, no, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. And then you just fall asleep on the phone. Guilty. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I don't see any more questions. So I'll see you in the DMs. See you online. And I'll see you next week.